We've got Russell Arnold with us to discuss the second day of the second test between South Africa and Sri Lanka in Durban. Russell, it's been an eventful day, but let's start at the beginning. Tilan Samarawira bringing up a wonderful century. What did you, what did you think of that? Well, I thought uh, it was magnificent because he needed to hang in there and he's had a tough time too being uh, left out of the team. So coming in here and maintaining his game was incredible, holding his mind together because it, it all comes down to how you feel and how you think. We know each player has different skills at high levels, at low levels, but it comes down to how much you want it, that hunger and uh, maintaining a, a zone from which you can uh, control your skills and he did it brilliantly. Again, we didn't see the footwork or the technique that you'd see from most other batsmen, but he's one person who knows his game. And if you took uh, his wagon wheel like we see elsewhere, all his runs were on his leg side. So he got the bowlers to bowl at him and controlled it really well. And uh, also, together with the tail, he uh, had an influence on Chandima. He built a very useful partnership there. And then this morning with Ranganahera, those 40, 50 runs he had it there, and keeping South Africa out in the sun for another one and a half hours would have been very frustrating. And that's where you see the results. Those, all these little things add up and it gives you a good chance in a test match. And that's just what's happening out here. And Samarawira has got a fantastic record in Sri Lanka, Colombo particularly. But this is only his second century outside of the subcontinent. How much value will he place in that and what distance will it go to saving his career even? Well, his career, no doubt about it, what a quality player he is. He was left out just at Sri Lanka were trying to make plans for the future. But then they decided that Sri Lanka need to use their best batsmen because they, they are uh, addressing other areas. The bowlers quite inexperienced. And he, here he, he underlines the fact that he's very useful and he still has the courage, the hunger and the technical skills. And South Africa has been a place where we have always struggled. Just a 100 before to Hashan Tilakaratna and he's a uh, Stilan a gutsy one which we really need. Flair we can talk about, that's, that's what we relate to Sri Lankan cricket. But here it was all courage, he, he spent time out there, he wore down the South African bowlers and got his run. So I think it will do him a world of good and Sri Lankan cricket too. And Dinesh Chandimal brought in for his first test match a wonderful half century, maybe got a little bit um, over flamboyant at times. And, and then some good work behind the stumps as well, a good decision to replace Kaushal Silva with him, do you think? Of course. Uh, Chandimal, we know, was a talent, but was not brought into the test team. He has played in the one-day team and has shown his courage, his, his arrogance, his confidence. He is a batsman who will go after the bowling, and he'll be the ideal foil at number seven, batting together with the likes of Jaya Wardana, uh, Tilan Samarawira, if someone can come and get on with it and accelerate just the mould of Adam Gilchrist, the job he did for, uh, for Australia. And there, it's a change. It gives you a difference, it gives the innings momentum and gives you those extra runs. Because if you take the first test, Sri Lanka lost the last five, six wickets for 24 runs. Here, the last five wickets added more than 100 runs, 170 runs, and that's going to be a difference. And with momentum, if you can do it, I think it gives you a good chance. Sri Lanka's efforts in the field, quite simply fantastic. It's similar to what India did last year, although a very, very different pitch. Who do you think just made their afternoon? I think Velagedra, he was outstanding. His lines were good. The length he bowled had even quality batsmen who had grown up in these bouncy conditions in two minds. Kali Scott on the crease, Divili Scott on the crease, Amla, even after making a fantastic 50, caught on the crease, not knowing which way the ball is going. So if you do do your basics right, you don't need to be express, you don't need to be tall and get that extra bounce. You still can create opportunities for yourself. And it all goes back to the hard work that was done by the batsman. Those extra runs, 330, gives you a different feel to the game, gives you confidence. And that's how the game rolls on. For Sri Lanka, what they've lacked in the last few months is runs in the first inning. Something for the bowlers to bowl at. Once you get 300, 350 on the board, the opposition, if they give you a chance, you, you can take it. But with no runs, no chance. And that's been the difference. And Sri Lankan bowlers today is showing that if they, they have what it takes to really put the opposition under pressure. Rangana Herath also getting some good results. The spinners have done well here in the past, but what did you think of his performance? Oh, he's the key because he came into the attack early and the Sri Lankan game is controlling the game with spin. Rangana was able to do that today because the, the pitch did assist a bit, but that's, that's what, you take what's given to you and he bowled really well. Four wickets, again, his pace, his flight, outstanding and he's bowled unchanged. If Sri Lanka can do that, I think that's the zone they like to be in. 
tomorrow a big day, probably the turning point of the test match. Where do you see this going? Well, Sri Lanka still need to bat well. Three days remaining in the test match, so they need to bat another day. That will give them another 250 runs. Uh, at least if you bat 90 overs at two, two and a half, three runs and over, which will ask South Africa to make more than 400, 450, which means I think you can't ask for much better. Fourth innings on a South African pitch, which will of course assist the spinners. It's, uh, this wicket is deteriorating and these pitches turn much more sharply than pitches in Sri Lanka. There's more life in it, so I think it will be a real threat and give Sri Lanka a great chance here. As always, Russell, thank you very much. Thank you.